Hello guys, Northern Lightseer here. I want to go ahead and get a read now. Let's see what's going on out there for my beautiful collective. I hope you're all doing well. Let's go ahead and pull from the spirit animal first. Let's see what spirit animals guiding us. Angels, ancestors, and guides of the highest white light. What does the collective need to see today? Hop off spirit. Take a leap of faith. Bottom of the deck. Okay. Been seeing that grasshopper spirit. Okay. So we have spider spirit. Make your dreams real. Hard work. I heard orb weaver. Spiders, they spend a lot of time on their webs and they're very intricate. They usually build them at night. Hard work, make your dreams real. You're inspirational to people. It's making me think about Charlotte from Charlotte's Web. Okay, we're going to go ahead and keep that for in the corner there. Antelope spirit, life is speeding up. Keep your peace, be the peace. Remain grounded, remain peaceful. Things are going to start ramping up. But you manifested it, you worked hard for it. Two, 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 two. You worked hard for it. Let's see what Sacred Forest says about it. I want to get three cards from this deck. Please and thank you, Spirit Guides. Three cards. What does the collective need to see? saw owl All right All right there ooh bottom of the deck rainbow waterfall there's the miracles make your dreams real miracles are abound and you've worked hard for it Rainbows signify that there's been a storm, but the sun comes through. Sun starts to poke out. Rainbow. Miracles. Miracles are bound. We have the spirit guardian of spring activation it it's time it's the activation of the miracles it's time this looks like little fairies and it looks like they're using the tree as like a little carousel They're swinging. There's that, there's a swan right there. Hey, there you are. The beautiful swan. There you are. Okay. Air spirit. Knowledge. 
highly intellectual and highly intuitive. There's a little deer down here in the corner. You're full of knowledge, but yet you have a gen you have a gentle heart and you're grounded. You're clear. Okay, this fog and uh, around the trees. Okay, you're above that. You are crystal clear. Crystal clear. Uh, what what you need to do to make your dreams real. This is like up in the dream space, up in the head. Air, you know, air signs. That's all about thinking, dreaming. You could be, you could have Gemini, Libra, Aquarius highly aspected in your chart. It's activation time. It's time for it. It's time for the miracles to come through. And I feel like you know this. I feel like you know it. I feel like you know. Aspen spirit. The courage. Leo season. Okay. It's time. It's time. Okay, Spirit, what are we getting? Are we just going straight into tarot? Yeah. Okay. I'm using my Prisma Visions tarot. beautiful collective. What do we need to see? Miracles are abound. Activation. Spirit guardian of spring. It feels like, okay, I know we're going into the fall, but uh, this feels like a new beginning, a fresh start. Could be activating around Libra season. I don't think so. I feel like this is present. I feel like this is present energy. Okay, we got tiny elephants right here. This is all about perspective. A new perspective. Asking questions. Talking about the elephants in the room. The things that are uncomfortable. Expressing feelings. Understanding different perspectives. Understanding people. Wheel of Fortune. Ooh, a divine understanding, a new perspective of the divine. Knowledge. You've seen some miracles. This new perspective has been activated. Whoo, damn. Okay. Let's go ahead and get a Celtic. Okay, so <laughs> the current energy is the tower. And with this lion's gate and this full moon in Aquarius, oh, air spirit, okay. It's a shit stirrer moon and the current energy is tower. Shit's coming down, shit's, th th there's gonna be a lot happening. And this doesn't mean it's all bad, no, uh-uh. I think it's just a lot, okay? 
Things are going to surprise you. And then we have the Seven of Cups here. It's going to make you feel, this energy is, it's going to make you feel overwhelmed. Because it's a lot. Towers everywhere. Things happening. Okay. Some of it, some of it could be um, good. Some of it could be not so favorable. Right? But whatever, through it all, there's there's an overwhelming, a sense overwhelmed here. And I think these towers are to come, are the purpose of it is to bring clarity. To be able to let go, release. Get through the uncertainty, clearing the fog. That's the purpose of this, of these, of this energy. I, I did a reading on this moon and the Aquarius super moon and it, I titled it as the shit starter moon, 1111. It's, it's to make it real damn clear, to clear the fog out. And release the last of what no longer serves us. Those last things that we're hanging on to that need to go. And it's going to, you know, whatever you've been hanging on to. It's going to seem overwhelming. Some of it, I feel like you're not expecting. There's a shock value to the tower. Okay. Okay. It, you in uh, Rider Waite, Seven of Cups, there's seven different cups with seven different uh, things inside of them. This one has all cups, but there's a snake in the middle. See, mostly good, some bad. Okay, it's just a lot. It's going to feel overwhelming. But I feel like it's to bring clarity. What's at the foundation here? The Knight of Cups. We have the Ten of Cups at the bottom. I feel like this is just, this is you pressing on, leading with your heart. This knight is riding. It looks like he's on a stream of water. And there's, looks like there's Nessie down there in this lake. I feel like this is you keeping it moving, keeping it moving, following your heart, staying above the monsters that lurk below. Look, I mentioned that snake came, Nessie. Long, a big old sea, a big old serpent, right? Yeah. Okay. What's going on in the recent past here? Four of Pentacles reverse. Opening up. Sharing. Not coming out of being closed off. Not being so closed off. I feel like you're expressing self. Not holding back. You're not holding back no more. No more holding back. No more, no more hiding. No more keeping your, you're not keeping secrets about how you feel. No more. Okay. What's crowning the spread? Okay. We have the hanged man that came out with the page of wands.
feeling suspended, stuck, waiting for news. Waiting for news. Waiting for this miracle. Waiting for a miracle. Waiting for good news. Stuck right on the collective's mind is this, okay, you, you feel like you're, you know you're feeling stuck. Waiting on some good news. Feeling like somebody's been feeling like they're, they're stuck in a rut. This hanged man has piranhas. Okay, this hanged man is kind of floating in the water. You can't see his head, but there's piranhas swimming all around him. Okay, remember I said down here in the foundation, you're staying above the monsters that lurk below. Maybe you just feel stuck mentally, like in your emotions, because this is below water. Okay, the hangman is usually strung up in a tree, but in this hangman, he's underwater. I think that you're trying real hard as hard as you can to stick keep, to stay above water and keep moving forward positively following your heart right leading with love okay but at times and, and i think that that what's going to happen is when this when the, with this energy this tower okay i've been feeling like this tower it's carrying a lot of energy big energy and i feel like it might i'm getting like an analysis paralysis here with this overwhelming feeling. When you get this news, oh yeah, this news, the news that comes in could make you feel stuck, like uh, suspended. Okay. What's coming in? All right, we got the Hierophant. There's spirit right there. Trust. Trust in the universe. Trust in spirit. Have faith. But, and most importantly, have faith in yourself. Spirit's here. Spirit's guiding you. Spirit is coming in to show you the way. Okay, you're stuck in hangman mode right now, waiting for this news, waiting for the waiting for the miracle. We got the yeah, we got the chariot at the bottom of the deck. Yeah, to the ten of pentacles. Okay. Out under the Ten of Pentacles is the Five. So I, I feel like you're in five, you know, you're coming out of the Four of Pentacles into the Five and praying for a miracle to go straight into the Ten. Like you're ready to go from the Five to the Ten. Like straight up ready to go. But this chariot is stormy weather. But look, there's Spirit guiding you through right there. Through the storm, through the storm, their spirit lighting, guiding you through, showing you the way. I'm going to go ahead and keep this chariot out right here. Right to the Ten of Pentacles. Feel like, yeah, you want to, you're, you're ready to do the work. Okay, you've been doing the work. It's right here. You're, ooh, thank you, spirit. You've been doing the work. Okay, and you're about to go from the five to the ten, baby. 
from barely getting by to being comfortable. Having all that you need and maybe even a little extra. <clears throat> going straight from the five to the ten and it's gonna feel like a miracle you've been working you've been working look yeah you had to leave something behind and do self-work yeah eight of cups working on self you made that look you made it you made the decision you made a plan and you stuck by it did the work you're about to go from the five straight to the ten Okay, how does the collective see themselves? A page of Swords. Learning. Learning new information. Learning something new. Doing something new. I feel like you're opening up and you're, you've, you, you're, yes, learning. You're learning. You're elevating self. You're opening up. That's a whole bunch of hearts like coming your way. Looks like you're <laughs> fighting it off. But look, this page is right on the edge of a cliff. Okay. This looks, this is giving me fool energy with her toe right there off of the edge. But she's also wearing a mask. It looks like she's kicking love away. It's coming in, but she's kicking it away. You're you're learning about yourself, I think is what this is, and you're kick you're shoving away love offers. Not interested in love. Not at this time. I feel like you have many yeah, you have options if you're interested, but it doesn't look like you are. It looks like you're trying to beat them off with a, with a sword, right? Yes. Okay, what's going on in the collective environment? What's going on around the collective? What's the influence? We have the Eight of Swords with the star. Okay. This says, make your dreams real. The star is all about your dreams. And look, we even have kind of a color match here. What you stuck in your head about? This is giving me that you might not feel like it is good enough. Like, something's keeping you stuck in this mental prison right here. And if you just look up and lift your head up, you could see that you could just walk right around it. Your dreams, you can make it real. Make your dream a reality. Okay, this is like a bust of someone's head. And inside here is the dream. The fairy. She's falling, free falling, trusting spirit. Trusting in spirit. Okay, spirit's gonna come through and show you the way. In your environment. Oh, this is okay. Thank you, spirit. In your environment are people that have kept you, that have that have deluded you, not believed in you told you that whatever it was that you were thinking, saying, doing was not was was not anything special. N they didn't believe in you. And so it's keeping you stuck right here in fear, it trapped in your head when in reality you're the motherfucking star. You shine bright. You are the light. In your environment, 
people are keeping this star in in the collective's environment. There's people around that are dimming your shine. You could have people spying on you, watching you, making sure that they keep you stuck, dimming your shine. No, no, baby. Uh-uh. That's what's going on in your environment. Excuse me. What's going on in your environment around you? Mm -mm. Hopes and fears. Nine of pentacles. Boom. There you are. Pre-empress energy. Whether you're male or female. You have goals. You have dreams. And you are accomplished. You're abundant. You know how to obtain what it is that you want. You know how to make your dreams real. You know how to put in the work. Nine of Pentacles. And you, do, and you know how to do it all by yourself. All alone. This work is done by self. Alone. With spirit. Mm -hmm. Spirit will guide you. Spirit's going to come. Spirit's going to come. Oh, I just heard. And just in the nick of time. And guide you through the storm. Through the storm of this tower energy. You know what's funny to me is this chariot looks rougher than the tower does. Because towers bring new beginnings. Chariot is moving on through the through the shit. It's like tower storm. Ha! <laughs> yeah, there's that three of pentacles right there. I was just gonna say I wish I would have kept it out. You did the work by yourself. Okay. What's the outcome here, please, Spirit? Ah, uh, yep. Okay, we have the pre-empress out here. Well, here's the empress making that tough decision. The empress has a hard decision to make. And she doesn't know all the answers. Okay, she can't see clearly. She's wearing a blindfold. She doesn't realize that this decision is going to be what changes everything. She's being guided. She is the star. See? Okay. I told you. You are the star. You've got stars all around your head. She looks like she's being like levitated up. She's ascended. She's leveling up. This is the outcome. The Empress has to make hard decisions when these towers come. And she may feel overwhelmed. And she's had people tell her pretty much that she ain't shit. People that didn't believe in her. People that didn't believe in her light. Look how much, look at her glowing. She is the star. She shines bright. And I think that this moon, this, uh, that's part of these towers, is getting the clarity. Getting crystal freaking clear. On who's left that needs to go. 
anyone that's keeping you stuck in this mental prison, anyone that any anyone that has said anything mean to you, okay? People aren't mean by accident. And and that also includes people that bully you and tease you and then say they're joking. Oh, ha, 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 it's just kidding. No, they're not. No, they're fucking not. They got to go. Going to have to make some tough decisions. What's at the bottom? Yeah, look. The Ace of Cups with the High Priestess. Okay, this High Priestess and this Empress come out together, usually right around each other. Okay, yes. You have a, you have a knowing. You know. You know what to do. And you know who to walk away from. I just heard, okay, because the Empress, she is, she is, nobody can resist her. She's gorgeous. She attracts. She doesn't have to do anything but love self. Her cup runneth over. And because of that, I just heard. I hate to see you go, but I love to watch you leave. <laughs> right? You have a knowing. You know who you're going to have to walk away from. Why? Because you choose to love self. And you did the work. You did the work on self. And that's how you got here. You listen to spirit. Spirit guided you through the confusion in the tower. You did the work on loving self. And guess what happens when you love self? When you're in this energy right here, doing the work, making your dreams real, focusing on self, not giving two dams about what anybody thinks about it, especially these people right here that were tried to dim your shine. You kept growing. You kept ascending. And that brings in true love. Two of cups. A soulmate of the same frequency. 3311. Let me get my Empress out here. Something you can invest in. And that's the truth. Yep, you have to leave behind the toxicity, the things that keep you bound, the addictions, people, people that are not good for you. These are the people that keep you stuck right here, bound, dimming your shine. Spirit's going to guide you through that. Spirit's, oh, I just heard. Spirit's going to light it up. Going to cast a light right on them. Then, ooh, I just heard. Ooh. Okay, remember this deer? I didn't know why that came up, but now I know. Because these people are going to be stuck like a deer in headlights. When they see you rise to the top. Rising to the top, baby. Rising to the top. Remember I said, looks like she's levitating. It's 
because she the empress is the star. Spirit's about to cast a light on who was dimming your shine and keeping you stuck in this mental prison. Stuck in your head. You're about to know. All because you did the work on self. You chose self. You filled your own cup. Followed your intuition. Did the work. That's going to bring in something worth investing in. That's the truth. We Leaving the devil behind. Leaving the devil behind. Walking away. Doing the work. Um, I don't feel like I need to clarify anything. This was pretty, this was pretty, pretty straight to the point. I'm just going to pull out another deck here to see what comes out. Get a clarifier for each spot here. Seven of Cups with the Tower. Why is this here, Spirit? Why is this here? Nine of Coins. Okay, boom. Yeah, this tower is coming to, you know, the Pre Empress, the Nine of Pentacles. But it's okay. You're gonna. You're it, you're gonna glow up from it. It's gonna it's gonna make it's gonna bring clarity to the nine of pentacles. This tower. Ooh, this tower could. If you're in a relationship, this tower could make you single. If I mean. Just, I don't know who needs to hear that, but I, that came from came out for someone. Okay, tell me about the Knight of Cups down here, Spirit. Why is the Knight of Cups here? Queen of Coins. Yeah, leading with your heart, staying above the water. Okay, keeping your head above water, staying grounded, getting grounded, earning, bringing back your self-esteem, okay, getting grounded again, getting centered, and focusing on your monies, leading with your heart. I feel like you could be working on something new that involves... Doing something you love that brings in money could be what you're switching your focus to. At the foundation, though, it's keeping your head above water, above the things that lurk, and keep staying grounded. I think I, it, this is... This ta all these towers with all the all this overwhelming, it's gonna make you feel emotional. I feel like, and so you're just trying to stay afloat. <laughs> you're trying to stay afloat. You're not trying to let this serpent grab a hold of you and pull you under. You're trying to stay nice and grounded, calm, steady, confident. Okay. Spirit, tell me why this Four of Pentacles is here. Why is the Four of Pentacles here in the reverse? 
Okay, yeah. We've got, look, we've got the Ace of Coins with the Nine of Wands. You felt defeated. Defeated. Closed off. Defeated. But then you, but then when you opened up, a gift came. Okay. I feel like something in the past left you feeling just tired, exhausted, depleted. But we have the Ace of Pentacles here. A seed, a gift, an opportunity. Something that opened you up. And brought you out of this feeling exhausted. Or at least got you moving again. Got you out of your funk. Where did I pick that up at? I think it was here. Why is the hangman here with the page of wands? Something in the recent past came to you, whatever it was, some kind of, some gift from the divine that you spent time on, that you worked on. I feel like it was your intuition. You nurtured that seed. You loved it. And you grew it. Even though it was a challenge with that mountain there, the sun rose again. Why is the hangman here with the page of wands? <laughs> Page of Wands. <laughs> you're waiting on news. I feel like you're waiting on news in a couple different aspects of your life and, and you just feel suspended right now. Two of Cups. Waiting on love. <laughs> you feel stuck. You feel stuck waiting on true love. It's got the Page of Wands right here with the Hangman with the Two of Cups. You could have a choice to make between two, okay, with this two of swords right here. That could be it. A choice to make between two lovers. Could be. Tell me more about this. Why is this here? Ten swords. You've been hurt. Okay. Yeah. I feel like you're feeling stuck because you are, you're getting, you're getting offers. Okay. People are interested in you. People are curious about you with these pages. And I feel like you have more than one person looking at you. Remember I said with this page of swords right here, where is it? Right there. Okay. You're like kicking away love, love offers. Those are butterflies. I see that now. I see butterflies. They looked like hearts the first time I had this card up. 
You don't kicking a mm -hmm. kicking away changes. Resisting change. That's how yeah. You see yourself. Okay, oh yes. Yes, thank you, spirit. These changes are coming in quick. And you're just like, no, 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 no. I don't want no more changes. It's coming in fast and it's a lot of them. Look at that. You're overwhelmed. And I feel like some of that could be love offers coming in okay i don't think that's all love but i do feel like you've got a couple people interested in you and i feel like you're just you know you're just you're stagnant because you've been hurt so bad before ten swords this last person could have stuck ten swords in your back and just left you there drowning let the piranhas eat you. Left you there for dead. You've got people interested in you. And it looks like with this two of cups over here, we already saw the two of cups. It looks like one of them is a true love that's worth investing in. Try not to block out your blessings. Tell me about this Hierophant with the Chariot. Six of Coins, Reverse. Yeah, Spirit's going to guide you through anything that is not equal. Like I said, guide you through the storms. And these, some of these people are going to get stuck in like a deer in headlights. The, one, the bread crumbers, the gas lighters. Spirit's guiding, bringing you to peace. Casting a light on anyone that wants to gaslight you. Thank you. Thank you, spirit. Dropped a card. Yeah, look at this. Seven of Cups in the reverse. Clarity. Okay, we already have the Seven of Cups out here with this tower. But this one came out in the reverse. That's clarity. Seeing through the fog. Clearing the fog. Getting real clear on gaslighting motherfuckers at people that want to keep you stuck. Spirit says, ah, oh, hell no. Nah. Uh-uh. You don't get to mess with my chosen one. Okay. Tell me about this page of swords here. Okay, we got the Knight of Cups. Told you. Telling you, telling you, you got love offers coming in. <laughs> You've got a lot of changes coming in. Okay, that's a lot. That's a lot of horses. Lots of changes coming in. And you're just like, no, no more. It, it's it, it's coming whether you like it or not. <laughs> Spirit says so. <laughs> Spirit says so. Okay, we got the Queen of Swords right there. Clarifying this Eight of Swords with the Star. That's right. Queen of Swords and anyone's fucking ass that wants to deal that wants to dim your shine. Just whoosh. You're done. Bye. Just cutting them straight out. Wishing a bitch would. Okay. You don't give no shits no more because these people 
The people that didn't believe in you, they got to go. Time to cut them out. Ooh. Yeah, be careful. Okay, you don't got to do a Queen of Swords in reverse. Your tongue can be your weapon. Short, sweet, straight to the point. Bye. Woo. Yeah, Page of Swords. Anyone that's talking shit, starting shit, stalking, spying, whatever. I feel like these people that you cut out are going to be the ones that end up watching you. Nine of Pentacles. Why is the Nine of Pentacles here? The devil. Releasing those toxic people, people, poisonous people, people that are no good for you. This is the hopes and fears. Hopes, fears. Thank you, Spirit. The, speaking of fears, the devil creates fear. This energy right here. Okay. Don't let the devil keep you stuck in your head. You're gonna be making this tough decision, and that's what's gonna that's what's gonna step you right up into the Empress. To let go of anything and anyone and anywhere that's toxic. People, places, things. Don't care who it is. If it's toxic, it's got to go. It's dead. It's time to go. Tell me about more about this. Tell me more about this Nine of Pentacles with the devil. Yeah, Wheel of Fortune. It's time to make changes. Time for things to change. And it's so funny to me because there's the snake and there's the devil. Okay? I talked about this snake right here. And then I talked about the serpent, Nessie. Wheel of Fortune. It's time. It's your time. Okay. Karma's going to play out for these motherfuckers. And karma's going to play out for you. Okay, tell me about this Empress with the Two of Swords. Okay, we got the Ace of Coins. There it is again. Oh shit, this was the page. Why did I say Ace? Because it looks almost exactly the same. Look at that shit. That's why I thought this was the Ace because this one's, this one's given from a hand. I didn't even read it. I thought it was the ace. What the hell? This one's the ace of pentacles. Either way, it's here. It's here. Your golden opportunity. Your gift. Choosing. Oh, yeah. Mm hmm. Choosing to nurture your gift. Your opportunity from the divine. Your golden, your golden ticket. Your gold, your big golden coin. Look, look at these. They look like pentacles. I know they're bubbles, but they look like pentacles. The gift. I feel like this gift was given to you in the past, and now you're choosing it. 
Yes. Thank you, spirit. What else? Oh, we have one more. Yeah, six of cups. Ooh, I feel like this gift was given to you in childhood. Like you could... You could have noticed that something was special about you or you started noticing things when you were young. Memories. Memories. What else? Yeah. There's the hermit. You chose your gift and you went inside. Solitary. You ascended. All you're taking with you from the past is the memory. You chose to go by, go be in hermit mode and work on this gift. Nurture it and love it and grow it. It made you wiser. You're wiser for it. That you activated. You're, you, you're, I'm picking up, you got, you're highly psychic. You got all the clairs going on. Yeah, look, we got the Empress right here at the bottom of the deck. There you are. We have a page of cups. Four of cups. Oh, yeah, somebody might, yeah, somebody might come around and want to apologize. Maybe it was one of these people here that were keeping you stuck that you had to close out. Oh, maybe they've got some karma coming back on them. They could. They could. Wow. Okay. Let's see. What are we getting? What are we at? 5741. Yeah. Let's go ahead and just grab. What we grab from Gaia today? Make your dreams real. What do we need to see? Yeah, look, evolution right there. Boom. Nine of Pentacles to the Empress. That's an evolution and an ascension right there. And I do feel like with this Two of Cups, because you know how to love self, that's going to bring in a new connection. It is. Oh, that's, someone is, who someone is very attracted to you. And I feel like, they're one of these offers that are around you. Okay. Try not to block out your blessings. Don't block out your changes. I feel like there's someone that is crazy attracted to you. Feels a very strong attraction to you. And it's faded. It's faded. That's where this Two of Cups is coming from. Thank you, Spirit. Yeah, I just heard you're going to think it's a damn miracle. Hallelujah. <laughs> I'm not going to die alone. I feel like, I feel like Spirit is definitely guiding you through. Through the stormy part. It's right around the corner, I'm telling you. I think either it's... I, I feel like this person is in your energy already. I don't know. For some of you, you may know this person. For some of you, this is coming in. Yeah, look, yin yang. Finding the balance. Creating harmony through balance. And look, there's that red butterfly. Okay, this is someone I said, 
that's going to match your frequency level. Okay, you love self, therefore you are an empress. There, an emperor is going to come in. An emperor is going to come in because there's no there's no other frequency match for an empress. Only an emperor. It's going to bring balance. It's going to be a damn miracle. I'm telling you. Ha <laughs> ha. Yep. Okay, yeah. You're healing from a lost love. And that could be what this is. Okay. This devil energy, it could be what stabbed you ten times in the back and left you for dead. Sitting here drowning in your emotions. Right? Letting them eat you alive. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Okay, you're healing. Surrender, healing, and releasing. Yes. Okay, that's that's part of what needs cut the fuck out. When you can surrender, heal, and release, this is when true love comes in. Heal, love, self. Look. Sacred Earth Mother. A message of love. I'm telling you. I, you're an Earth Angel. I just heard. You're an Earth Angel. Sacred Earth Mother. You're an Earth Angel. And you're about to get a message of love. I'm telling you. Somebody is crazy about you. Highly attracted to you. And I feel like. Ooh. They're attracted to your mind. Queen of Swords, right? Empress. The Empress embodies all four queens. But they're really attracted to your mind. That's where I picked that up. Queen of Swords. Air Spirit. Okay, could be an air sign. They're attracted to the way, to your brain. How you think. A message of love. There's a message of love coming in. Okay. Knight of Cups. Page of Swords. Try not to don't don't let this don't fight this off because it's lost in the in the midst of all this tower energy and all this confusion. Okay, one of these cups is good. Yep, you're suffering a loss. Okay. Somebody's thinking of you. A loving thought. Serendipity. Someone sees you as their lucky charm. The arm candy. They're, they, they're going to feel lucky to have you on their arm. You're a gem. Someone's thinking about you. Someone is crazy attracted to you. Someone be in love. With this Six of Cups right here, it could be someone from the past. I said, it could be someone you already know. I think it is. I think it's someone you already know. I said it feels like somebody's already in your energy. Yeah, apprehension. You're feeling nervous. Moving out into the world. See, what did I say about this four pentacles reverse? You're opening up. Okay, in the recent past. But look, there's those vines. I always get restriction with vines. Okay, you're nervous because you doubt and fear. Why? Because you've been hurt, stabbed, and left for dead. But you're healing. You're healing. You're healing from the loss. Okay, you lost someone that you loved very, very much. But... You're healing. You're getting through it. Spirit is guiding you through. Through the fog. Okay, through the storm. 
following a dove. Peace. Let's get one more. Someone's thinking about you. Someone is thinking about you. Healing. Yeah, see? Healing. You're healing. Take your time to heal. Take your time to replenish. Reconnecting with your true nature. And that's exactly what this person is doing. They're falling in love watching you in your element they're watching you be true to self they love you for who you are you don't have to change a thing don't have to change a thing look you're a dream come true to this person and look there's that peace spirits guiding you straight to peace Peaceful waters, peaceful ground, peaceful, peace. Dissolving unwanted or disturbing thoughts, healing. And look, make your dreams real. Something is revealed, a dream, insight, a breakthrough. A breakthrough is, is that through self-love, and because you heal, in comes true love, baby. Someone that sees your worth. Someone that sees all your hard work that you've done. Someone sees you for who you are. Naked, vulnerable, and perfectly fine and okay in your own skin. Comfortable, even. Someone can't take their damn eyes off of you. Okay, I mentioned that with this Page of Swords, too. And then we have the Page of Swords right here. I feel like somebody, somebody, somebody keeping an eye on you. Mm-hmm. Yep. Let's see. Let us see. Let us see. I want to go ahead and get some secrets of the hidden heart here. I don't know who this is. It could be it it better be an emperor. Or an empress if you're if you're a masculine. Just flip it, switch it, guys. We didn't have any masculine energy show up here. Mm -mm. None. Other than these knights. But I don't see any kings or the emperor. And no queens either, except for this queen of swords. Just the empress. Yeah, look, there's those illusions, those clouded judgments. Okay, right here with this tower energy. Clearing the fog, clearing out the illusions. Focused on security, establishing your, your grounds. Okay, establishing home, making sure family is good. Queen of, Queen of Pentacles. Okay, you're solid, stable, secure. Clearing out the illusions. You're clearing the fog. Yeah, look, there's a shift. There's a change, been a change of perspective. You've got a whole nother attitude. Something, something is coming to your attention that's changing how you see things. We have reminiscing. Okay. I feel like you're dwelling on memories and that's what keeps you stuck right here. It's time to let go of all that. You have to let go of the old in order to bring in the new. Yeah, look. Distracted. Change delays. I feel, yeah, 
Look, you just want to run away and ghost from any changes. Ha <laughs> ha You don't want to. See? I know what I be feeling. You want to run away from the change get, and ghost. Ha <laughs> ha. Let it happen, collective. Let it happen. Go with the changes. Yeah, look, there's those decisions. Okay? You're going to be having tough decisions to make. Thank you, Spirit, for backing me up. I love it. Yeah, look, there's that Escalate, okay? That Ascension. This is going to happen fast. It says Rapid and Surge, okay? That's what, that's what the Tower is all about. Quick, shock and awe. There's a shock factor here. Ooh, we have Commitment. But you got your boundaries up and you're with you're gonna want to withdraw because you 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 got triggers and it's an obstacle. I think you're still you're still healing. You're healing. You're healing. You're trying to heal. Yeah, you're detaching. Okay, slowly parting, disconnecting, drifting away. I feel like this is detaching from anything that created those illusions, that created fog, smoke, and mirrors. Anything that was creating this overwhelming confusion. I know I had it out here. The illusions card. Well, where'd it go? Oh, right there. Yeah. Okay. All that fog, okay, foggy. You're moving away from anything that isn't clear. Okay, look, rising above the fog, ascending, leveling up. Look at all this fog, 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 confusion. Okay, this, 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 the seven of cups, that came out in the reverse, that's clarity right here. Bringing clarity, clearing out that fog. This has been, you've been, you're judged, you've, you've had some shit clouding your judgment around you. People, places, things. Yeah, dramatic. This could have, this says affected emotionally and unstable. Okay. People could have been saying, talking some shit, and that's why they got to go. But you being emotionally unstable. That's not true. They were creating illusions. They were clouding judgment, obscuring the truth. And then talking shit about you. When you react, there's karma for that. Let these people's karma just play out. Because you've got the eye of someone. Someone's You've, you've caught someone's eye. And you're significant. Look at that. You're important. You're important to this person. You're significant. You're a light. You're a light. There's depth to this connection. Whoever's, whoever, whoever's attention that you've caught. Yeah, look, a clarity, illumination, honesty, truth. Look at this shit. I cannot make this up. This is going to illuminate all. This is going to clear the motherfucking fog. Okay. Some light's about to be shed. And I feel like it's a, I feel like it's love. I, I mm. 
Okay, look at this. Look at it. Okay, so we've got the bitterness. Okay, you're hurt. You're bitter. You're resentful. Okay, you've been hurt too much. But then we have this divine timing right here. Denial. Okay, you're like, nope, don't want to see it. Mm -mm. Nope. And then the unexpected happens. Ha <laughs> ha! Tower. Okay. We have secrets. Secret, secret, I feel like secret heat feelings because we have an unfinished business here. This could be somebody from the past. Somebody that you had to cut out because they had a dark attachment. But there was intimacy here, closeness, a trust. We have free spirit, okay? Yeah. Look at this. Someone's taking a risk here and returning. They see you. They see you. Look at that unicorn. They see you for who you fucking are. This, ooh, I just heard this could be past life. Look, because you moved on and let go and went through your awakening, there's a spark. Someone is turned on by you. Look at this. You went on this long journey because you're depleted, exhausted, tired. And someone is just, they can't stop. They're fixated on you. They got heart eyes whenever they see you. I see those cartoons that have the, have the big old heart eyes bugging out. <laughs> yeah, yes. Look. I feel like it was someone you walked away from. Is watching you grow and heal. Someone who rejected you, ghosted you. Oh, we have a breaking point in the ego here. Someone's pride got in the way and look overwhelmed. Okay. Lost soul, bored. Yep. There's that past life. Okay. Person's out, been out there chasing thrills while you just want peace. Look, there's that trust. Something hit the floor. Yep, yeah, my intimacy card. It just fell off. Yeah. Oof. Okay. Mm -mm -mm. For some of you, it's new. For some of you, it's someone you already know. But whoever it is, their eyes are only for you. They only got eyes for you. They're watching you go through this ascension. Walking away. Somebody knows how important, just how fucking important you are. And it's about to be illuminated. I feel like someone's about to come forth. I feel like it's someone that's been kind of hunkering down in the fog, right? Kind of laying low, laying low. Yes. Okay. I just want to see. I'm just going to pull these for shits and giggles. Take them only if they resonate. The hidden truth. Let's pull from the hidden truth, Oracle. Just for, just for shits and giggles. I look for you everywhere. Okay. What else? What does this person want to say? I left when I saw you with someone. Okay. So 
I feel like this is someone that, okay, <laughs> I am afraid to contact you. I feel like that this is someone that isn't, that I don't feel like they know you real well because you could be with anybody. You could be with a homeboy. You could be with your brother. You could be with a cousin. Okay. So for them to just automatically think that you're with someone when they see you with somebody doesn't, I feel like they don't know you that well. They're afraid to contact you. I feel like that's why this person is kind of laying low. They want to make sure you're single. Okay. And I think they see that you are. I think that's why they haven't surfaced yet. It's about to be illuminated. I'm telling you. This person's laying low. Yeah, they want to tell you how they feel. It says, I want to tell you how I feel. Okay, they they look for you everywhere. And they are, but they're afraid to contact you. So I do, I feel like this is somebody that you don't, I feel like you know them, but I feel like you don't know them well. Okay, I don't feel like this is a past relationship. No, mm -mm. nope, I sure don't. But what I do think is that this person knows that you have been hurt. I think maybe, I, I think you might know who this person is. You just don't know them real well. Because if they left when they saw you with someone, or maybe they left when they saw you with whoever you were with last, and then you got hurt. Maybe they've had a feelings for you for a long time. If it is someone you know well, maybe they watched you go through this. And they have done nothing, they've done nothing but fall for you ever since, okay? You've got someone thinking about you. You do. And it's about to be illuminated, okay? Make your dreams real. Keep working on self. That's what makes you attractive. It brings it in. Someone's going to come tell you how they feel. I'm going to leave this here. I love you guys. I wish you guys the best. Let me know if this resonates for you. I would love to know. Let me know. Like, share, comment, subscribe if you like my vibe. I love you. Peace, love, and light.